Okay, so <sighs> I'm filming this intro way later than the video you're about to see because life has been crazy and I thought I filmed an intro and I didn't. So here it is. Friend Swayze hit me up a couple months ago or so and said that he needs me to model and he needs me to style his upcoming drop for the Divine Outcast brand. Previously, I did the photography, videography, and creative direction for a drop for Divine Outcast. But this time, he wanted me to be in front of the camera, in clothes, doing my thing. I had never done that before. So I wanted to take y'all through the process of me learning how to do this for the first time, styling my first shoot, and modeling in my first shoot. But before we get there, I wanna show you the inspiration and the work that I did before the actual shoot to prepare for what in the world this would look like. So first thing I did was I went to Pinterest. Pinterest is a great way for me to just overload my brain with photos, videos, just inspiration. And it gives me a baseline for where I wanna take the shoot. So I made a Pinterest board of 80 pins and I just scrolled through and looked at like men's fashion, women's fashion, summer fashion, all that stuff, whatever came to mind. And I just pinned whatever I thought was interesting. So I'll take you guys through some of this stuff and I'll point out the things that were important to the final design decision. So for the guys, which was, I guess was just me, it was only me and one other girl. So it was a guy and a girl for the shoot. So I had to style for both. For me, I wanted to play with a very cropped skinny top and then kind of having it fan out toward the bottom and having some boots instead of sneakers at some times. So just trying to like explore things that I've never done before. So if you look here, this is a good example. This is almost similar to a fit that you'll see in the final version. Um, you have the tucked in tee or tucked in tank top with a cropped jacket, very big flowy wide pants and then a pair of sneakers or boots on the bottom. So this was the inspiration for both fits. I was just gonna say for my fits, but also for the female model as well. This is a comparable female version of the crop top on the top, having a blazer, some dress pants, and then some sneakers. Similar silhouette, very crop and uh, tight at the top and then kind of flowy toward the bottom. But what Swayze wanted for this shoot was high fashion. And that's different than what I've done before. So um, this is kind of the direction that we wanted to take it while still having some of those streetwear elements laced throughout. After putting this Pinterest board together, I felt kind of stuck because I had never styled before, so I wasn't really sure what the process of like what to do next was. And I, I sat on this for a few days. Like I filmed this part of the video before I even went out and did any shopping. I felt stuck after that, like I didn't know what to do. So what I did was I took my favorite fits from this Pinterest board and narrowed them down into the ones I definitely wanted to replicate and put them in another board, which is on my laptop. So let's go to the laptop. I took my Pinterest inspiration. I laid out all of the photos that Swayze sent me for the products that we'd be shooting. And I took my favorite Pinterest photos and matched them up to the look that I was going for for each piece. Let me show you. So for example, we have the hoodies. I laid out the hoodies on the left and I sectioned it into male and female. So for myself, I wanted to wear the hoodie with some dress pants and some Chelsea boots. Or for a traditional streetwear look, I'd wear the hoodie with cargo pants and some more tactical boots. Same thing for Leica, the female model. A hoodie on top, either some wide jeans and some kind of chunky boots or some dressy pants and some heels I thought would look cool. Same thing for the hats. We have the four hats laid out. Uh, for me, I was thinking more of a tank top, cargo pants, and some sneakers, or on that dressier side again, similar to the hoodie, dress pants, and some Chelsea boots or some tactical boots on the bottom, playing on this high fashion streetwear look instead of traditional streetwear. Now the one I did for Leica is one of my favorite looks that I've done. I love this blazer, crop top, pants and sneakers or heels combo. I think it's like a dope mix between streetwear and preppy depending on what you have on your feet or how you accessorize it. This look is my absolute favorite look out of everything I've done for the shoes. But yeah, so Pinterest was top of the funnel, very wide, just throwing a bunch of things in. In the middle of the funnel as it got a little bit skinnier, that's what this board is. And now we really funnel things down through the shopping phase. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna let past Nehemiah talk on what he got from Goodwill and how he's putting those things together. And y'all will see how my ideas came to reality.
Alright man, so I just got to Goodwill. I'm here. As soon as I walked in, I saw some blazers right in the front. So I'm gonna sort through those, see what I can find. Hopefully I can find something for me and something for Leica. Um, yeah, I'll show y'all what I find. I'm also not used to vlogging in public, so this is different. I have a big old camera and I'm setting it up and talking in front of people. I never thought I could do this, but we're trying it out. So we'll see how it works, but yeah, let's get to it. All right, I made it back home. We got the clothes. I'm gonna show y'all what I picked up. This brown corduroy blazer for Leica. It looks really dope. I'm hoping that it'll fit like a dress almost. It's a men's extra, extra large. At least it was in that section. So I'm hoping that it fits a little longer. So hopefully when she wears it uh, with just like a white tank top or something underneath, it'll fit really well. So we got the Bershkas. These are just a pair of dress pants. They're black and they're cropped at the bottom and they're tapered. So they'll go really well with a pair of sneakers if I want it to be casual, or I can dress them up with a pair of boots that I got. Secondly, we got a pair of Vintage Supply denim jeans. These are light wash and they're very bad and wide at the bottom. So this will be a good example of something that I'm learning is that I need to be getting clothes that fit me and aren't just cute. Mainly because I want the waist to fit and the clothes to fit properly in my body. That's the only thing about getting stuff from Goodwill is that if you're trying to go for I forgot to show y'all the boots. I got the Chelsea boot Doc Martin, the ones without the laces. Since I already have a pair of black Tims, I thought having the ones with laces would be a little bit redundant. I wanted something that was a little more dressy uh, and less combat booty and casual. So I went with these. And in person, they look a lot better. I wasn't really feeling them at first, but I think these are gonna work. I'm gonna go try them on and then try them on with the fit selection that I have. We'll see how they do. All right, so first up we have the Vintage Supply baggy jeans. I love the way these fit. They fit super parachute super wide. They fall over the boot really nicely and encapsulate the whole thing, but don't cover it too much to the point where you can't see the boot anymore. And this is what I was talking about earlier, about the waist fitting. I bought my proper size and these were oversized and they fit perfectly. So that's the first one. And then secondly, we have the Bershkas. These also fit pretty good. Not as good as the jeans, but I'm still happy with the way these fit. If I had to change them, I would want them to come up or come down a little bit more. They show a little bit too much of the sock for me uh, for a boot, but I think they'd be fine with sneakers like a pair of ones. But overall, I'm happy with the way these fit. So I'm gonna keep these both for the shoot tomorrow. All right, so those were the clothes. I'm gonna grab the corduroy blazer take that to Leica. I'm gonna have her try it on. Hopefully it works for tomorrow. I'll see y'all there. Hey everyone, I'm Leica. I go to Georgia Tech. That's where I met Nehemiah. Right now we're on shoot for our new org called GC Creatives. We're trying to get a crazy community of artists here at Georgia Tech. So we got some crazy stuff going in through those doors. I can't wait for y'all to see it. A lot of YouTubers, like when they come back to their old college, they're like, dang, I'm back at the school where I dropped out from and now I'm living my dreams. I used to hate being at school, all that stuff. And a lot of them, they dropped out. But me, it feels good to have finished. Like to be back here and to say that I graduated, I didn't drop out. So the fact that I'm able to still do YouTube and still be able to live life successfully, it's just a cool moment. Wazy is also on his way. So I'm gonna show him some of the fit ideas that I have. I brought a couple of the pairs of pants to show him. And we'll also get a quick peek at the pieces that we're using for tomorrow's shoot. What's good, Nehemiah's channel? Today I'm here at Tech. Can we show them your fit real quick? Oh, dub, let me. Woo! What we got? Give us a rundown. So we have trucker hat on top, white tank top because it's hot outside. It's like almost very hot, bro. And I'm wearing some big cargo pants, so I wanted to balance the fit out that way. The bloodlines, Jordan ones Shoo! on my feet. These are my first pair of ones. Really? First pair of ones. I yeah. thought you had some other ones. 
I do, but these are my first pair. Okay. I have one more pair, but these are my first ones, and I still wear them a lot. They're getting some wear into them, which is good. And then I got some jewelry. This is both from Vitaly, and then this gold cross I stole from my dad. So Swayze's here with all of the, the pieces for the shoot for his clothing yes, brand. So he's gonna show them to us, give us a little sneak peek for tomorrow. And I wanna just try some things on and have Leica try some things on to make sure we have the right fits for the looks that we're going for. Yeah.